and good evening. Uh, my name is Arsh. I'm here with uh, Yash, who's also on my team. And together we're gonna walk you through some of the great features we have in Prisma Access. Uh, Cloud Manager for Prisma Access is your one-stop shop for configuration and security optimization. We provide insights into branch sites and mobile users, user experience monitoring via ADEM, and several dashboards focusing on your network behavior and threat activity visibility. Today we'll be exploring that last piece. So what problems do we solve? We'll explore how we solve the following questions. How secure is my organization's infrastructure? What value does Palo Alto provide by the security subscriptions? What interesting observations can I share about my users, my network, and more with other stakeholders in my organization? What new insights can you give me about my users, my network, and more based on all the data that my org generates across all the security products that we use in Palo Alto? We solve these problems via Prisma Access and AIOps. From our security devices and services, we generate hundreds of billions of logs every day from across all of our customers. This gets stored in various data stores and read into our security and visualization reporting infra, which powers analytics and visualizations in Prisma Access and AIOps. And in both of these platforms, you can access these analytics via the activity tab. Let's go over some of these features in detail. First, Log Viewer. Admins can use Log Viewer to diagnose connectivity or security related issues. So, for example, you might use Log Viewer to identify why a customer might not have been able to access a given URL. You can see the action taken, such as perhaps a block action by Palo Alto, and the corresponding policy rule associated with that block event so that you may choose to go and modify that policy. With Log Viewer, all of your network activity, including your URL activity, your DNS activity, threats detected on the network, authentications, and more, are all available at your fingertips. And we're also working on some great improvements to the Log Viewer experience on the horizon. Let's jump into network usage. With network usage, you can understand your activity across all your apps and users and answer questions like, who are the users that are generating the most traffic? What are the URLs and URL categories that are being accessed by those users? Where is that traffic coming from? Where is it going? What threats are seen on the network? What apps are being used? And who are the users of those apps? By the way, for all of these features, uh, we'll be going over uh, some demos. Now I'll pass it over to Yash to talk about our EDSS products in cloud management. Go ahead, Yash. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Yash here. So I'll be talking about the 360 uh, threat insights uh, view. Uh, so primary goal uh, for like a network uh, security admin is to keep like the network secure. Uh, this includes monitoring and investigating any threats seen in the network and making required configuration changes to address gaps and to tighten the security as well. Uh, admins also want to view additional context around users who have been impacted by threats and the rules or profiles that are allowing or blocking threats so they can take appropriate action to fix those security gaps. So today, one of the ways through which an administrator can accomplish this is by analyzing the threat logs. However, to understand the impact of threats better, admins need to manually correlate data across multiple sources, like for example, traffic logs, threat logs, et cetera. And this is what we are actually doing for you as part of 360 Threat Insights. So we are doing all this correlation and we can answer all the questions like who are like the users that are most impacted by threats? What are the most impacted applications? What are the critical threats detected across all the security subscriptions uh, that you have like wildfire, DNS, uh, and we have more coming on the horizon as well. So I'll go into the next 
uh, which is the wildfire subscription. So wildfire dashboard in activity uh, shows you like how wildfire is protecting you from like net new malware that's concealed in like files, executables, and email links. Uh, you can get information about all the unique wildfire samples that are seen in your network and like the signatures generated as well. We give information about like all the different verdict distribution based on different file types, if it was like executables, PDF, uh, PEF, JAB, Linux, uh, etc. And you can review a record of all the unknown samples that wildfire detected in your network and send for analysis. Uh, you can view sample details, also jump to the log viewer to like see additional like log activity related to the sample. Uh, we show like all the top applications that delivered the most malware in your network. And similarly, like all the top users that are sending most malware to your network as well. And for all these dashboards, uh, you can like download, share, or like schedule reports uh, uh, as well. So with Wildfire, like uh, we answer like all different questions, like what files have been submitted to Wildfire, like what was the verdict for each, what are the different file types, what action was taken on each file, what is the trend of these file submissions in my network, and we'll go over the IOC uh, soon uh, in the next few slides. So now moving over to DNS uh, security dashboard, which shows you how your DNS uh, security subscription is protecting you from all the advanced threats and malware that use DNS. We show the total number of DNS requests and what portion of it is malware, C2, phishing, grayware. You can examine the trend of the DNS request uh, according to the DNS category or action that was taken against them, whether it was allowed, blocked, or sinkhole. You can monitor top malicious domains in your network. You can also view top DNS resolvers that resolve to malicious domains and the resolvers that are resolving to a suspiciously like, low number of DNS requests. So now moving to the last section, which is uh, the IOC search uh, feature that we have as part of like the premium AI ops uh, uh, or uh, in uh, Prisma Access. So we give you like details like uh, artifacts history and activity in your network. Uh, Palo Alto Network's threat intelligence on this artifact based on the analysis of all the traffic that we process and analyzed. Uh, and then the third is like all the third party analysis and findings about that particular artifact that you can search as part of this feature as well. Uh, we can search for like a file hash, a URL domain on an IP address. And depending on uh, each of these searches, we provide like all detailed information about uh, what happened as part of that uh, file. Uh, uh, what environment was it seen in? Uh, we also take some screenshots and uh, we'll go over that demo uh, in the next webinar uh, in detail to go over uh, each of these sections. So now I'll pass it back to uh, Arsh for the uh, demo. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yash. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this demo. Welcome to Prisma Access Manager. Today, I'm going to start by sharing Log Viewer. Log Viewer, like I said, is your place to identify, diagnose, and troubleshoot via network logs. Here, you're seeing Log Viewer filtered on traffic logs. Log Viewer is split up into many different sections, including traffic, threat, authentication, URL, and many more, like I mentioned earlier. Of course, like I mentioned, you probably have millions of logs happening very frequently in any time period. So we also give you the ability to query your, your logs. For example, here I'm filtering on the session start time. Um, and I've specifically, for example, just for to illustrate this example, I've chosen to show logs that have occurred after the seventh at seven o'clock, which is something that you might do as an admin trying to identify issues across time. You can also save these uh, filters so that you don't have to retype them. You can later apply those filters. So this is what it looks like to save one. 
And here you can see all the filters that you've saved. You can change the time horizon. Here I'm looking across the past seven days of logs, which has given me about 700,000 results after running this query. So this is actually not a full seven days, of course. You can download your logs in CSV format, and you can save the order of these columns as a profile. That's log viewer at a high level. You also have something called log details. If you click on this little icon over here, the sidebar pops up and shows you the log details, which basically takes all these fields and groups them into certain categories that we think might be of interest to you. For example, we have general category, source category that shows where that log came from, destination that shows where the log's going or went to, and other details, of course. In the log detail section on the left, we actually have a timeline view. This specific log was not associated with another generated log within the same session, so you don't see one. But if it were, you could see a URL log, a threat log, if that log was associated with a threat, and so on and so forth. So that is log viewer. Now that you know about our logs and you've seen them via log viewer, it's a good time to go over all the other dashboards that are built using this log data. For example, our network usage dashboard that I called out in the slides. The network usage dashboard goes over some high level statistics about your network. For example, the total data that was transferred, data uploaded, data downloaded, number of sessions and users generating that traffic. We can show you data transfer over time, over session. In this case, the data was not generated by a user. So you won't see user generated traffic, but you can see, uh, you can pivot to the logs from these charts. So you can go back to log viewer from here. That's nice. You can also add filters. I'll go over that. Here you have, uh, if you're interested in looking at traffic by location. So you can see, for example, you can look at the apps that are associated with traffic from, let's say, Germany to Russia. Start changing the time filter to show you what that might look like. Here we're changing it to seven days. And of course, you can also download, share, and schedule these dashboards with these buttons over here for offline viewing in PDF format. Now, like I mentioned, let's say you're interested in traffic going, say, from Germany to Russia. That might be of interest to you. In this case, you might want to look at, let's say, maybe a, a the user that generated this traffic from Germany to Russia. Then you can click on this user icon to show the users. So let's go over to that page. Here we can see that the user Ava Colin is associated with that traffic from Germany to Russia. And then you can see more information about that user. For example, you can see um, maybe data only associated with that user by clicking on this filter icon. So let's add that filter. So now across all of the summary traffic users and IP dashboards, you'll see data only for this user, for example, now, if we go back to traffic, you can see that it's been filtered only to show you data for Ava Colin, as there's only one user now. Same thing for IP address. This is all associated with the user Ava Colin, who accessed this data through different source IPs. Now we can look at another piece of this uh, Prism Access Manager user activity report. So from this user page, we can click on this user activity report icon. That will take you to Ava Colin and Ava Colin's user activity. 
So here you can look at a deep dive of all of Ava's recent activity in the past seven days. For example, what were the top URL categories that Ava visited? You can see that she visited business and economy, computer internet info, news, and the amount of data that was transferred across diff the different unique URLs. We can also take a look at the risk profile of her traffic. So how much of her URLs that she visited were low, medium, and high risk? Did she encounter any malicious URLs that could have exposed the network to malware or phishing or grayware command control? You can see the most common sites that she visited. Unsurprisingly, a lot of these are Russian sites. And the amount of sessions, as you can tell, this is simulated data. You can also see URLs that were blocked successfully by, by Palo Alto. As well as another breakdown of the uh, severe threats, medium and high and critical threats. That's how we define it on the network that Ava ran into. Okay. And then from the user activity dashboard, now you understand that. Let's go over to the application usage dashboard. The app usage dashboard gives you a high level view into the different applications that were detected on the network and then breaks it down into various different categories. So here we can see that there were, for example, a bunch of sanctioned and unsanctioned apps on the network. Um, you can see the applications by risk category. So some of the applications are quite risky, others weren't. And by the way, there's a section in Cloud Manager where you can go and decide and define uh, what apps are sanctioned versus not sanctioned. We can also look at the apps uh, by data transfer. We can see that all the apps in this case were unsanctioned because I haven't gone and configured any apps to be sanctioned. So of course that makes sense in this demo environment. Um, we can look at the top application subcategories. So in this case, you have internet utility, the number one category, for example. And you can look at that by data transfer or by the number of applications. And then you have top application subcategories. Again, you have um, a breakdown showing the within these subcategories, what were the most commonly used applications. So for example, predictably under internet utility, you have web browsing, web crawler. Those are the two most common. We also have data for uh, all the other subcategories as well. You can see the top applications by data transfer as well. So here we have web browsing, which is a kind of a different pivot, but showing you this data, showing a lot of data on the web browsing application, basically showing you the fact that it's unsanctioned, giving you a just nice description of the application so you know what it means, showing you the associated application subcategory, data transfer, and so on and so forth. Okay, well, that, that is the end of the demo. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about um, application usage. Oh, and maybe I can showcase you know, what it looks like to sketch, share and schedule a dashboard. So here you can type in an email address of a person you share the report with. Maybe it's your admin friends, even a CISO, you can share a report with them. And uh, that's just for kind of your one-off reports, your one-off PDFs, but maybe you also want to schedule the reports to Say every 24 hours, uh, you can choose to send a report or every week on a Wednesday, if that's your workflow every month. Um, and it'll showcase the data from the past 24 hours on that day, past seven days, past 30 days. That's what the schedule report feature does. That's really neat. Okay, well, that is all I had to share with you in the demo today. In the next session, Yash will go over some more demos of our CSS services inside Cloud Manager. With that, I am gonna close it off here and be happy to take any questions that you may have.